A very good evening and welcome along to Brisbane Road, East London, for this Conti Cup quarter-final between Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City. I'm your commentator, Michael McCann. A great pleasure to have your company wherever you are across the world. Manchester City, four times winners of this competition, who defeated Spurs in the semi-finals on their run to winning the trophy the last time they did so back in 2022 facing a Tottenham side for whom that was their only ever appearance in the semi Spurs shooting from right to left in this first half but before kickoff a moment to take a stand by taking a knee against all forms of racism and discrimination important that this space is for all of us to enjoy regardless of your identity English weather playing up as it has a tendency to do in our cold winters but no doubt about this tie's ability to go on. And here's Chloe Kelly. She's always going on, charging down the wing, very hard to stop. Slightly heavy touch from Clinton. And immediately Manchester City can apply the pressure. Kelly slaloming inside, side of the City. That win securing City's passage through. Top of Group B with 10 points. Here's Shaw. Shaw has it last time around under Rianne Skinner. It's brought, as well as some new signings and fresh impetus, a real sense of pro. Just as I said that. Here goes Clinton playing it inside, losing out to Hasegawa. Greenwood ready to come back on. For now, Manchester City down to 10. Neat passing possession from Manchester City. You'd expect nothing less from Gareth Taylor's side. He's been in incredible form recently. Eight straight win to all. Tena Castellanos now departed and Laura Coombs scoring to get them the draw. But then Mary Fowler, Steph Horton and the aforementioned Castellanos were all not able to convert their... Back for Greenwood, who Manchester City fans will be very relieved to see back out there. Ball sent a little more directly forward and it's fallen for Park, who plays it inside... He's still making something of it. Asagawa gets there before Clinton. And Alexandra gets there before Wang. Against Spurs. Since these sides first played each other almost five years ago to the day in the FA Cup. And goals from Steph Horton, Lauren Hemp and Gemma Bonner saw Manchester City through. Horton's still at Manchester City, of course, not in the squad tonight due to an ankle knock. Hemp gets it away. Playing advantage in Manchester City's favour. Park. Still going. Has a shot, but... Spurs for now down to 10. Slightly heavy touch from Wang. Hasegawa. Coming inside to a central midfield position like you see a lot of modern fullbacks doing. Manchester City zipping the ball around with real tempo. Hemp has a great record against Spurs. Already has three assists and a goal against them this season. Going further back as well. Does seem to enjoy playing Spurs. Has four goals and four assists in her, com her career against them. Wang loses out to Hasegawa. That Liverpool stay above Spurs in the table. Liverpool fifth, Spurs sixth. The gap, goal difference. Manchester right boot of Kelly. They do go short as predicted. And that sets up Hasegawa. Just slices it wide, didn't quite catch it cleanly. Japanese international certainly can produce moments of magic. Not the best pass. Alexandre kept things moving, though. Asagawa. Kelly trying to work her way through. Well defended by Amanda Neil Den. Asagawa. 
Park. Zips it wide. Hemp. Goes around the outside. Just dinks one in towards Shaw. Of her career that she's become a left-sided centre-back as opposed to a left-back. And part of it was actually due to a big injury crisis Manchester City had a couple of seasons ago. Asagawa. Hasegawa to strike one. Oh, that's magnificent from Yui Hasegawa. Her first Manchester City goal in almost a year and a half. Gives the visitors the lead in this Conti Cup quarter-final. About 10 minutes ago, when Hasegawa couldn't quite get the shot on target, so there was a, a warning shot in that sense, but take nothing away from the quality of the strike. Ball towards Shaw. Real test of Robert Villa Hammond Spurs. Not just technically, but mentally as well. Playing. Kennedy on for Asagawa. Has played in England before. A spell with Brighton, where she said without that she wouldn't be where she is. Described it as a dream to come back to the WSL. So that's slipped through for. Hemp dropping infield to link the play and find Kelly. Kelly decided to have a shot. Comes back for Hemp, who decides to do the same. And Votikova has said of February 2022. This was a semi-final fixture. Manchester City winning 3-0. Park, Shaw and Hemp all scored. And Park got a couple of assists too. Manchester City into the final where they came from behind to beat Chelsea 3-1. Mm -hmm. Since departed to Real Madrid, Caroline Weir scoring two in the subsequently retired Ellen White also scoring. Foul on Hasegawa. In control, albeit and only a one goal margin in it. Yui Hasegawa's fine strike, just her second ever goal for the club after a neatly worked set piece. Is the difference between the teams in a half where there's been plenty of high pressing from both sides, but neither keeper has been overly busy aside from Votikova and a ninth straight win in all competitions. Spurs now kicking from left to right as we look at things. Manchester City in the black with the red trimmings, kicking from into their bench at half time. We're seeing this a lot more with teams having five subs available rather than three. And Beth England has come on. And it is Kelly with Shaw to aim for. Slightly nervous moment for Spurs there, which they get away with. All from Swedish striker Stina Black Stinas, the difference. Spurs losing 3-1 in the quarterfinals against Chelsea. Sam Kerr scored twice and Frank Kirby was on the score sheet. Drew Spence got a late consolation against her old club. Graham. Nice one too, sets it up for Grant to cross. Keating is alert to prevent the corner. for a while with Becky Spencer at Spurs. Trip got into, even though she didn't get a touch, put her off enough. I can tell you that Chelsea have got, well, more than a foot in the Conti Cup semi-finals, of course, due to their European commitments. They are into the Champions League quarter-finals. And they were in the group stages. They didn't have to play the Conti Cup group stages. So the Black Cats 
and currently second in the championship are going out. Intriguing battle on between Brighton and Aston Villa. Graham. Spurs get the free kick. It's Clinton. Naz up there up against Hasegawa. Grant. And then Hasegawa again. There's Wahabi fighting to get it clear. Shaw. Khadija Bunny Shaw, who's only three off the Manchester City all time scoring record. She has 64. Georgia Stanway. Now, if Bayern Munich, of course, has 67. Thank you to at MCW Stato for that notable number. His Angel Dahl puts it across. Too much on it for even the electric pace of Lauren Hemp to get there at the far post. Debut last November was being tracked by several top European clubs. But having worked before with Robert Villaham, and that was one of the things that attracted her to join Spurs. Here's Park. And then Kelly just trying to get the shot off. Spurs are right in the contest. Kelly. Plays it back for Coombs. Really important block in there in the nick of time and then smashed over. On. Took it down nicely, but the Australian international couldn't test Votikova. Hasegawa. Park. Helped on to Wahabi, who's all too happy to join the fun as Manchester City. And for a second, Fowler. Fowler's cross. Falls for Kelly. Kelly trying to get the shot away. Important block from Bartrip game. Spurs won 2 1 in September 2021 at Manchester City, thanks to a somewhat or well, to goal, one might say, where was that way Anne's hand was involved, let's just say. It's Coombs trying to work it through. Important interception. And then just a change in a second. Spurs still believing, and rightfully so. James Turner, though, with the foul on Hemp. They continue their dominance in this fixture. And they book a spot in the last four that finishes here in East London. Tottenham Hotspur nil, Manchester City one.